I don't know what to talk about, y'all. I don't know what to talk about. I'm trying to think of something, but I, I don't know. I don't know what to talk about. What do I talk about? You know, I could talk about so many things, but I, I really don't know where to start. Like, honestly, life has just been, it's been pretty tough. It's been pretty tough. Long story short, um, so right now I currently, I still live with my parents and you know, I'm 20 years old. I finished high school obviously and I went to college for a little bit, tried it the first time, it wasn't for me. So I eventually, you know, I called it quits. And then that was like right after I graduated high school, I went straight to college because you know, the general, like the general sense to us is that once you graduate high school, you must go to college or else, right? Like you have to go to college in order to be successful, right? That's just like the general. So yeah, the goal right now is to just find a second job. But really, I'm like, I really want to move out of here. Um, you could probably tell by my shirt that I am a huge Miami lover. I actually went to Miami in June for 12 days, man. Best time of my life. Don't regret any of it. Drove all the way from here, which I currently even live in Houston. I drove all the way from Houston, all the way to Miami in almost 24 hours, nonstop. And man, was my back was hurting. I was so tired, but it was so worth it in the end. I ended up loving the city. It was everything that I wanted, you know, and my, just like, my dreams are there in Miami, not here. Like I've grown out of this. I feel like I've grown out of this place and it's just not for me anymore. You know, um, I don't feel like I can really, you know, be myself here, do what I want to do here. So, you know, Miami has really been on my mind for like the past year. And, you know, I'm really glad I took the opportunity to drive down there and get a feel for it. You know, it was a lot of fun. I met up with a couple guys on YouTube that actually have a channel dedicated to everything in Miami. Um, I'll post their I'll post their channel on the screen. There you go. So I met up with these guys that I've been a subscriber, been watching their videos for a while, and then I eventually, you know, we eventually decided, you know, I say, hey, you know, I'm coming to Miami in June, so why not, you know, why not let's let's beat up and maybe they could show me around the city. And surely enough, that's what they did. You know, I met up with them and we toured basically around the entire city of Miami. So it was a lot of fun. And they, they really, they, they did not have to do that. But I'm so thankful that they took the time out of their day to, to show me around this, you know, amazing city. So, and yeah, just overall, like me being in Miami for those 12 days, like I have not been so, I have not been more happy in my life. Like those were like the happiest days. Like I was the happiest I've ever been in a long time. And just coming back here, just made me realize how depressing my current situation is. I mean, I was already depressed even before I went to Miami, but you know, coming back from Miami, I did not even recognize this place at first, you know, even though I was born and raised here. Going to Miami and then coming back here really gave me a different perspective on how I see this place, you know? I don't see it the same anymore. But yeah, man, I really just want out of here. Um, I just don't feel like I, I can accomplish anything here. The things that I really am passionate about and what I really want to do in life, I just don't feel like I can do that here. And if you guys don't know, um, Miami is a huge hub for young entrepreneurs, young professionals. And I'm an aspiring entrepreneur myself. Um, I really want to start a business in the South Florida area. But right now I'm currently, I'm just, I'm just focusing on getting a second job. I'm focusing on boosting my income because, you know, Miami is expensive, especially if you're living on your own. You know, most people have roommates. You know, I've thought about having roommates, but honestly, I really just don't. I feel like the cons outweigh the pros, so I'd rather just live independently. So I'll try to work towards that, but it is very difficult, guys. It is very difficult. Also, I've been applying for jobs down there, and so far, no luck, but I mean, I did get a couple that reached out back to me, which is great, but never got the chance. But I, I'm still trying every day. You know, I'm not giving up. You know, it's always been a dream to live in Miami, and we're just gonna keep going, you know? I feel like my heart really is in Miami, and I feel like my guts are telling me I need to go to Miami. I just feel like I have a calling to be there. Like, I feel like I could bring so much to the table, 
in a place like Miami that I, I just can't do here. So yeah, I just feel like Miami is where my heart is and yeah, I mean, it's a, it's, it's something, it's a dream I really want to make a reality one day. And you know, it's, it's difficult. The market's really tough right now, especially in a place like Miami where, you know, Miami is a relocation hotspot right now. It is arguably one of America's most important cities right now. So yeah, it is a tough market out there, but if you really put your mind, if, if you really put your mind to it, I think you can make it happen. It will work out. It takes a lot of dedication, a lot of de determination. It's a lot of hard work and you just gotta believe in yourself, man. You know, you just gotta hope for the best, you know, be positive. Not everything has to be, you know, doubtful. Sometimes you really don't know what can happen until you actually put yourself out there. So if you have a dream, you know, just go for it. I've always been a risk taker myself. And, you know, I just feel like you're much happier when you just follow your heart, where your heart is leading you to. You're just happier overall. And so yeah, guys, I think that's that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, This was just a little, uh, actually not little, this is a pretty long video actually, but you know, be just, talking about my life, you know, where I've been. Just why I share this with the internet, you know, the, the interwebs, see if anybody else out there can relate. Like we're all going for it, man. You know, it, it's tough out here, especially these days, but that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And share your own story in the comments. You know, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, I just think we're all going for it right now. And you know, we should just be nice to each other. It's, it's tough out here, man. A little act of kindness can go a long way, guys. So with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.